Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 New Order as Guangdong. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, essentially, everything kind of sucks. If you're Chinese, it's terrible. You're Japanese, things are going actually pretty well for you. And if you're part of like this mixed culture, you've got these aspirations, but you just get kicked down all the time. Because why would they take someone who's like a mixed culture when they can just have a, a Japanese guy do it? The missing Japanese. At the former Peninsula Hotel in Hong Kong, now the Taikai Hotel in Hong Kong, uh, the group of Japanese senior bureaucrats and executives sat around the table, filled to the brim with the best possible food the hotel chef could possibly offer. There was nothing that one could not find and feast on at that table. Fugo, expensive sashimi, eaten four delicacies from Germany, and smuggled in American comfort food. As these elites, uh... Grammarized? Gower? Garmanized? And stuffed their stomachs to the brim twice and three times over, they discussed the latest gossip, legislation in the council, the impact it would have on their business, and so on and so forth. They even blabbed about the most recent news from Japan, Prime Minister Aino's constant search for growth, the warnings uttering by uh, Kaida and uh, Takiga, Takagi, uh, nothing was off limits, slurs and insults at those they deemed other and less than, such as Marito Akai or the Chinese, uh, were liberally used. If somebody were to ask these people about the possibility of a conflict of interest, they would say, Conflict of interest? Never met her. She's from Beijing? Uh, the discussion shifted to the topic of somebody uh, who had been missing in front of the conversation. Or Sonata. How long has it been since he was last here? It's been a few weeks, I'd wager. An investment offer, um, an investor offer, what info we had. I heard the poor old wretch lost everything on a bad investment and it disappeared before they could collect. Most people exchanged grim looks, but a bureaucrat laughed loudly. Should have collected on those bastards sooner. Uh, if he had disappeared into the master Chinese like you say he was, there's nothing we can do now. At that, the elite chuckled and went back to their gossip. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be starting like an underground, uh, small little underground corporation or something. I don't know. So let's see. We have uh, Covey. What's what's Corvey slavery? What makes that different than regular slavery? I mean, it's. it's I guess it's better than like. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> let's, let's just say it's pretty bad. Okay. Let's go with an honest living first, because I think that's the one that popped up. Shaman Choi lived in the world of an other people's routines. He woke according to the stranger's clocks, ate on a schedule dedicated by others' movements, and he made his way to work just when others were leaving theirs. As the owner of the Dai Pai Dong, a small outdoors restaurant stall, his work depended on timing. He knew to open his stall at 2100 sharp so that he'd be ready and waiting for the workers emerging, hungry and tired at the shift change. His work had become an art. Thanks to government fees, most of the money he made went straight to the cost of the stall and his business existed in a delicate state. It's not always been like this. Before the Japanese had come, he had been a chef at a larger restaurant. Not some rickety stall, serving the elite on the Pearl River Delta. Um, after the Japanese arrived and expirated the restaurant and evicted the Chinese chefs, freeing Japanese for the positions, while the natives were relegated to being waiters and busboys, it had been a rough time for him. But the Dai Pai Dong had been a godsend. His reverie of mem uh, memories were uh, interrupted by a chat of the first arriving customers. He had accumulated loyal regulars who had come for his uh, conversation, just as much as his food as so he smiled broadly at their arrival. Three dishes of beef chow fun, a bowl of sang nai kuang porridge, and a bowl of uh, wonton noodles. One of his regulars, a man named Chen, said uh, the workers uh, had a uh, mighty appetite after lengthy shifts, and Chow immediately set to making their orders. He had this place in the city, even after everything that had happened, and he worked with a small smile on his face. Order up. I, I'm going to say something really bad is going to happen to that man. I don't know what yet, but I don't have high hopes for him. In a chilly and sprawling boardroom, Prime Minister Aino gazed out of the window to watch with the skyline and the illuminating buzz of the city. He had accompanied by uh, Suzuki, uh, who had agreed to meet Aino and discuss matters of affairs between their two nations. The great man cleared his throat, beginning to speak, before turning his head to face Suzuki, uh, who had uh, found sat in a leather chair not far from his seat. Suzuki, you and I both know the use of the companies operating in the south. They will bring you riches before you can blink. As I am sure you are aware, they'll gut you the moment you turn your back on them. It's a tough line to walk, keeping the companies in check, but I trust you'll be able to do it, and let the wealth flow down the Pearl River. Aino sat himself down and leaned back in his chair with a grin on his face, fanning off the pleasure he had come um, from the dominant speak in the room. Suki cleansed his jaw, acknowledging that he was in no position to question Aino, drawing bated breath in front of his Japanese patron. Before he could get a word in, Aino coughed up more thoughts, testing the very fiber of Suki's attention. Say, you know the growth targets we calculated for Guangdong? Aino uttered, mopping up his uh, croak voice. 
Well, it'll, uh, it'll have to meet uh, what we expect this year. We can't afford ex uh, we can't afford exceptions, and that problem with the Chinese also needs to be clearing up. If I'm honest, Suki, uh, you have a lot to do. Let's get started sooner rather than later. It must be done. Every year, the tens of thousands of shareholders on the Japanese mainland expect their investments in Guangdong to make a return, and expect to see high growth. Uh, should we reach these goals, businesses will continue as usual, but if they're missed, the political consequences will be severe. For the next year, our shareholders expect a real growth of 8%, or a GDP of 23.065 billion USD. And we get the Miracle and Pro River GUI and Decision tab, so we need to make... Well, we need to increase our GDP by like $2 billion or something like that? What's, what's our GDP right now? Yeah, we need like a $2 billion GDP increase this year, which seems basically impossible. How much money is we can build police boxes, Chinese support, reinforce a police, order a crackdown. Let's order a crackdown here. We cannot order a crackdown. Change policing duties. We decrease the regular police, we increase... So Kemetai is like the Japanese... Or we can downsize you. We could do that. The Japanese won't like us as much. What What is Japanese approval of us right now? Does it say in here? I mean, they have 90 opinion, but that's only because we're like a puppet state. Change police duties, we've got more influence. I mean, everybody's getting influence basically everywhere, which seems kind of bad. And 40 army powers. Does that depend on like what state we're in? No, it does not. Or we could bribe you. Which decreases your control by 1.5%. But then if the triads aren't in control here, then the Yakuza is going to be in control here. Is that, is that meaningful? It's not fully corrupt. I mean, you have a lot of... I guess, you know, let's... let's 50 million dollars? Holy hell. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just try to raid you instead. Maybe, maybe that'll be a little bit better. Okay. Opinion corruption approval. So this is Japanese approval. Level of corruption within the government at 49%. I mean, that seems pr pretty fucking bad. And Republic of China, opinion of our administration at 40%. China's opinion affects our, their commitment towards our economy, affecting annual growth of our by 2%. So you don't like me. Purge corrupt officials. Increase the level of uh, corruption by 12%. China will like us more. Seven, how many we have? What, 70 political power? Crackdown on petty corruption. Purge. Invest some finances. And you decrease by 5%. You know, let's investigate you. And then we'll crack down on petty corruption. Okay, GDP, GDP growth, Miracle the Pro River, Core Economic Statistics. Okay, so. Manchukyo GDP, our GDP. Our target is to get to this white line. I mean, our real GDP growth is way better than Manchukyo's. And we, have, we don't have a lot of debt, so theoretically we should be able to beat you at some point. I don't know when that'll happen, though. It, it, might, it might take a while. Okay, let's get our four companies. Unlocks the product cycle, GDOI, and decisions tab. Gets the event to Tycoon to Guangdong. We have a nonpartisan citizen. We have state, religion, open immigration, illegal trade unions. There's absolutely no restrictions on our supervision. Solutions come easier with help. Chief Executive Suke try not to let his shortness of breath show as he enters office, taking pains to slow his stride and mask his chest heaviness by straightening out his tie. He made no such effort to hide his irritation at Prime Minister Eno, who stood languidly at by the desk as he expected a guest in Suki's own office. I'm sorry I've kept you waiting, Suki uh, said dryly, though I'm afraid my cabinet secretaries will uh, need me back shortly. A cabinet meeting? My apologies. I know dipped his head slightly, a form formality without feeling. Uh, I was just thinking about a conversation the other day, and I might be able to help you. You're aware of the Malaysian problem, yes? Of course, Suzuki has said, reading reports on the ongoing peace preparation options in uh, Shoinan for years by now. What about it? The IJ Garrison reports to Tokyo, not the army needs to rifle Suzuki. Uh, you know, Beirut over Suzuki. Uh, is there an issue? Uh, is it enough to flush out these gorillas? I see. 
Suzuki uh, did just an statement. You realize that the companies uh, here make electronics, not weapons. Why not ask the Manchurians? I'm asking you, Aino said firmly. I can get the Army Ministry to request proposals. Uh, all you need to do is submit a design. You sign a contract, you get paid. I don't see what the problem is. Suzuki uh, fixes uh, once Junior in the uh, Tojo cabinet with a weary eye. The Army he served rarely was so careless about these contracts to turn to first time manufacturers. But Aino had always been a deal maker, and Suzuki needed a win. I'll see what the companies can do. In 20 days, Corporation will present their uh, projects for consideration. So let me sec. Suzuki, he is our Prime Minister. And I know is the Prime Minister of Japan. Okay, that's, that's, I'm just double checking that. I think I knew that. But it's just good to... Just good to double check. And even... Oh, can we... I mean, I'm not surprised by all the events. And again, this, this is what we're here for, right? An evening in a wet market. On... Okay, let's make sure the text box isn't there. On a cloudy, smoggy, grim evening, Lo Kei, one of the millions of housewives in the city of Koshu, uh, wandered through the city sweat market. Her purpose was twofold, looking for goods for the night supper and trying to find things to repair for the upcoming Lunar New Year. Another year passed since uh, she had followed her husband, who had headed south from uh, his or her rural village somewhere in Shogun to find work. As frequently happened, she was bothered by the feelings of regret. She was then left. She had seen the beggars on the street without arms or legs, eaten alive and spit out by the brutal factories. And though she might uh, lack literacy, she wasn't blind. She could see the occasional body of a suicide net strung up above virtually every street. She hoped her husband wouldn't end up like that, but she knew quite well that, they, uh, that the will of heaven was not something one could influence by hopes or predictions. Not being uh, willing to lay down and die, all she could do was focus on the passing days, picking and choosing between wilted vegetables and preserved meats in, to uh, preserve you until the morrow. At the moment, her reminiscences were interrupted. She had found a good deal. What smile across her face as she handed over the yen and took the food into her bag. She and her husband would have something better than uh, normal to eat this new year, and they had, and it made her so happy. After all, her husband's happiness was hers, and hers was his. True, she had married him for love, but the two uh, had learned to love each other, and had uh, made the hell of Ayan that was Guagdong much more bearable. If there's any place in all of China that showed what the Japanese had done to the country, it was Koshu. Formerly Guangzhou, the once proud city had been reduced to a choking mass of factories and processing plants, spewing pollutants into the Pro River Delta. Surrounding these factories were uh, sprawling slums, unplanned and overcrowded beyond belief. In one investment, the only investment their corporate overlords meanwhile had seen fit to recommend was the addition of suicide nets in the factories, so as to prevent the workers from taking unauthorized periods of extended leave, as they put it. Roaming the packed and filthy streets outside, meanwhile, were the one armed handless and otherwise disfigured men in bloody badges, bandages who had suffered industrial accidents that rendered them incapable of handling machines, leaving them without a means of income. The sight of these unfortunates served as a never ending reminder of those to live with the work that, yes, it could get worse. Even as it seemed that their workforce bled itself dry for the insatiable appetite of the sphere, those who ran the factories knew that all the intense competition was uh, for even the worst jobs and they would never run out of willing flesh to put into the machine. Though the bars and brothels that dotted Koshu were uh, used the strongest neon signs available on the market to attract those who still uh, made it to nightfall, uh, it seemed that not even that light could cut through the dense, suffering smog that filled up every part of the city. Now, as for the demands of more and more goods reach the city, factory owners have taken to more creative ideas for boosting their output. Some have chosen to experiment with instituting a mandatory unpaid overtime, others have decided to employ children whenever possible. Regardless of the means, the results are the same. Demanding to ramp up manufacturing, uh, which uh, anywhere else in the world would have been considered impossible, to meet with such little difficulty. Yeah, I think... The <laughs> it, it really just sucks, huh? Really, it's really not a great time for anybody. So we're cracking onto corruption, which is good. The Australian um, Prime Minister resigned. I mean, that seems okay, relatively speaking. Reinforce you. So what if, if we reinforce you? Okay, prison breakout in Moscow. Decreases government support by 2%. Well, let's reinforce the police here. I mean, does that matter? Government support. The government has 72.4% 72 support against Japanese expats. I'll be honest, having even like... 37% support is incredible. Like, in this state, having 37% support, I would consider that to be a miracle. I feel like even, like, the governments of, like, Canada, or, like, the United States now have, like, 37% support, so... 
resources, production cycle UI, more police in the state, or meet with the Japanese elite. Let's sort out the police situation, I think, first and foremost. So what's at the bottom of this? Update Tokyo. Okay, so it's basically just a straight line down, which is okay for now. The guy who the Guangdong. The four men in the chief executive's office uh, took their time setting into the black leather sofas ringing Suzuki's desk. I guess Suzuki isn't the prime minister, he's the chief executive. A hotly familiar uh, exuding a disdain for Suzuki's authority. These men, uh, Matsuda Itakyo of Yusanda Bank, uh, Matsuda Mashuharu of Matsuda Electric, Ibuka Masuri of Fuji, of, uh, Fuji, <laughs> Fuji Ithito, and Rote Akio of Sony. With tycoons of four companies of Guangdong, and they had long been used to break Tokyo's emissaries to their will. Frankly, Zuki, you're wasting your time, Obuki said accurately, cocking his chin in defiance. Guangdong was established so that the enterprising businesses like ourselves could operate unrestained by Tokyo. You're not the first one to say otherwise, and you won't be the last. The chief executive is just reciting his mandate. We have ours. I'm sure he'll understand. Uh, Machida chided with a sideline glance at Zuki sooner or later. Tokyo is well aware of its promises. Zuki growled, resisting the urge to throw his papers in Abuki's face. But as subjects of the empire, your, no your nation has the high expectations of men like yourself. Marade said nothing. He was an odd man out. Zuki thought the uh, gadgeteer of Guangdong had disappeared from the Japan in 1952, before surfacing in Hong Kong in uh, 1954 with his fabled local associates. Every, uh, chi ex every chief executive has the same mandate, uh, Matsuda inter uh, intercited. Ever since the gentleman banker, um, Matsuzuki, an esteemed member of the House of Peers, is evidently a cut above the rest. I'm sure his proposal will have some merit. At that, the assembly raised her eyebrows and Suki smiled. Tokyo has many ways to make itself heard. So when, when do we actually come into session? I do not know. Chef Su crashed on the ground, his poorly body quivering amidst the uh, splinter remains of the plastic table scattered in his bing, in his bing slot. Two men, uh, the only other men in the shop, everyone else had uh, scattered at their rival, crouched down in front of him, their tattoos peeking out on the sleeves of their uh, silver suits. You don't understand. I don't have your money. The shopkeeper raised his hands as the uh, stammered and broken Japanese, paused facing upward or outwards to both signal his surrender and his poverty. Please, I'll pay you back with this week's earnings, but you can't keep scaring, scaring. The older of the two uh, sneered at the shopkeeper's face as the junior handed him a hefty, uh, gleaming cleaver. I think you're not scared enough. No, 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 please wait. The color draining from Sui's face as he stammered, his eyes widening at the side of the blade. I handed everything to another gang yesterday, four or five men speaking Cantonese, threatened to break my arms if I didn't. The two thugs looked at each other, the triads, and encroaching on their turf for the third time in many months. A match with all the other stories of the, from the shopkeepers in that district explained how broke uh, Suya was uh, despite himself. They pulled the blade back from Suya's neck, resolving that there were far bigger targets to be had. We'll be nice, the elder Yakuza thug snapped, uh, spittle flying in Suya's face. But if you don't have our money next week, then we'll help ourselves to the little shop of yours. Maybe even your precious wife and daughter. Consider them collateral to settle your debts with us. <laughs> okay, so... Fidel Castro has consolidated his power in Cuba. Crack down. I mean, I think we, want to cr we need to crack down on the gangs, basically. The gangs have a lot of power. To deal in debts. After a tense meeting with the tycoons ended, Chief Executive Suke and uh, Machuaza uh, Takuji, the chief representative of the Sanda Financial Conglomerate in Guangdong, remained seated in Suki's office. As we discussed, you'll have my full cooperation. Uh, Machuai uh, spoke in a measured tone, hiding his irritation with a mask of perk of uh, courtesy. Yusanda is ready to support the Prime Minister Aino's wishes, whoever we can. Having Yusanda's uh, corporation is reassuring, Yusanda said, snubbing out a cigarette in a uh, half full ashtray. Best assured, uh, Matsubai, uh, your assistance is deeply appreciated. Thank you, uh, he replied uh, coolly. Uh, he wasn't used to being uh, beholden to anybody given his profession. Uh, to be a banker was to deal with debts and to transmute profits with interest into a more brilliant career. But that uh, had ground to a halt with his transfer, banishment from the Tokyo to Guangdong. He didn't know why he'd been exiled, but after three years, he found what would be, uh, he'd do almost anything to go back. Matu... <laughs> Matuaya, I have something to ask. Tsuki's uh, question brought Matsuaya back to reality. Do you know anything about finance trades payments between Japanese yen and the military yen? 
Macho blinked. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know. Anything involving a military currency is run out of Tokyo. Why? Nothing serious, Suki's face twisted in a disappointing frown. Just asking. Machuai made a note called Tokyo. And I think with that, it's a really good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed, give a thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.